All right, guys, welcome back to another video on this 57 convertible. So I'm back here at the back of the car on the trunk. And as you can see here, I got the uh, trunk trim laid out. So I guess I could show how to install this in case any of you guys are wondering or need to do this. It'll give you a good uh, idea how to go about doing this without being too scared of drilling through nice paint if your car is already painted. So what I'm going to do is put some tape on this stuff, get it mocked up first, make sure it's going to sit the way we want it to and then after that i'll get back with you and i'll show you how i'll go to set this thing up to get everything marked and how to drill it okay went ahead and got some uh, tape on this thing as you can see so this side fits up pretty darn nice got this pretty close i need to come up just a hair of the tape sagging just a little bit so there it is there and this side, this piece is a little bit wonky. So we got to make it fit. It doesn't fit the contour as nice as the other side. So we'll have to do a little fit and finish on the uh, passenger side piece here after we do all this. So we'll go ahead and get this all uh, pulled off, get the back lined up here so I can make some marks and measurements and we'll get this stuff drilled out. All right, so as you can see, got my tape all lined up across this bottom portion so now we'll take my the trunk panel here get it set up in place exactly where I want it and then I'll be able to use a chalk pencil sharpie whatever it is you got make your marks and then you'll be able to punch your holes drill them and it makes it a lot easier to see your marks and not worry about scuffing up paint too much guys there's the trunk piece installed as you saw in the time lapse there uh, still a little dirty got to clean it up just a little bit but now we're ready to move on to our corner pieces all right we left off yesterday getting this uh, trim installed and we were fighting this corner but uh, Jason ended up doing some little bit of finessing on this bend to get it sitting just like this other one and I had to file fit the edge just because if you know anything about these tri fives, the trunks fit terrible unless you actually like metal finish all the corners and fit and finish that, which on this build, unfortunately, you know, we didn't get paid to do that. Not a lot of guys want it if they want it to be more original. And this is literally original. So, but we got it fitting pretty good. Opens and shuts nice. Uh, now it just needs cleaned up and that's all there is to it. All right, guys, we're back on the back end here. Uh, I still need to clean the trim up. You saw I got that installed. And uh, got us a brand new emblem set here. So we got the brand new gold Chevrolet emblem for the trunk and the brand new V as well. So we'll go ahead and open up the trunk here and get these things tossed on. all the new emblems on and I uh, also got the we got the trunk mat put in there still a little bit wrinkly pretty cold so it's not really formed in that well but looks pretty nice but anyway so got that all knocked out so it looks really good Looks a lot better than the other worn worn out one. The, the other one had a bent emblem on it, so this really ties in with the rest of the trim. A little update on the engine bay. <clears throat> Got the little hold down for the heater core hoses. Got the fuel line made, the hard line made. 
So got it all tightened up and in. Throttle linkage. And we got the shifter linkage hooked up, distributor set, wiper motors on. Uh, so really just need the finishing touches now. Got the fan and the uh, belt on. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do about the shroud just yet. Not sure what he has for that. But still have to put coolant in it, of course. So that way I can always pop this upper hose off in case he's got a shroud for that. And uh, as you can tell, we've got to bleed the brake still as well, but all that stuff is hooked up and done. I believe I addressed that earlier. But everything else is pretty much hooked up. And we still need the little coupler that goes between the heater box there. But other than that, it's coming together pretty good. And then we got the windshield over here and ready. Got the chrome on it. Got the rubber on it. Got the windshield wiped down just to get the dust off it from sitting. And then we also got our right hand and left hand new uh, outer bumper brackets in so we can get those put on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lift this thing up in the air and get those tossed on. As you saw in the time lapse there, we got the uh, the new outer brackets in for the bumper. So that's on there and good now. And the bumper's not perfect because at some point those brackets have been tweaked, bent, and messed with. So this bumper doesn't fit great. But unfortunately, it's just, just what we got. But it turned out pretty good. And... Uh, Getting up, moving on with the uh, wiring, which is like the last major step. Uh, hood's already done. All we have to do is bolt the chrome to it and uh, bolt it to the hinges. And then I think over here we got the, let's see if we can show you here. There's the skirts, which I don't think he's running anymore. I uh, got the steering wheel ready to go and new chrome for it. And uh, um, under the column drop, and the garnish molding for the interior trim. So all that stuff is done as well. And the hood's already all done, cut and buffed as well, as you can tell. Bad lighting in here right now, I don't have the lights on. But just ready for the, put the new emblems on and the bullets and the uh, big mustache bar. And then that, that'll be done. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hopefully the next video I'll have, we'll have everything on it. Uh, hopefully I'll have the engine fired up and running and basically it'll be complete besides the interior because the interior is already done from uh, an upholstery shop and he's got it all done. So it just needs to go to the upholstery shop and have all that stuff installed. So we're pretty much gonna finish out the car and then deliver it there and then hopefully um, I don't know if the next video will have it all with the interior in it, but at least at the end of the next video, you'll see this thing all as a complete car uh, without the interior. But uh, depending on how quickly that gets put in, I'll definitely film it when he gets it back so I can include it in another video so you guys can see it all finished up. But uh, that'll be pretty much it. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.